Kate's Mill is such a special place, it had to be the inspiration for our collection of handmade ceramic tiles. Set in beautiful countryside, the grounds are full of life, from peacocks to chickens to our new family of fallow deer. The Kate's Mill design is, is a particular favourite of mine, as the making process is so much fun and always results in a slightly different outcome. After selecting the flowers to be used, I begin to make the tiles. The design is created by pressing hand collected flowers found around the grounds of the mill. I take myself away from the studio and explore the grounds, just by the river, an array of interesting flowers. The studio is equipped with two electric kilns, a slab roller, two large rustic workbenches running the length of the building, as well as a potter's wheel. With the slab roller, I work my way down the thicknesses until I've got a large slab about 7 to 10 millimetres thick. I use a little bit of flour to help ease the slab from the wooden board, and then it's left to dry. I share the studio with Ed and Claire, who make the studio a fantastic and creative space to work in. The clay we use is called lava clay and creates a pretty speckle effect. This is caused by tiny particles of iron ore in the clay that melts when fired at high temperatures. I really struggled to find a towel cutter for a 12 by 12 size tile. So Phil, our groundsman, kindly made a bespoke cutter and it really does work perfectly. Adding these grooves helps the tile stick to the wall when being installed. I always sign the back with the customer's initials just to add a little personal touch. Once pressed, cut and finished, I leave the tile to dry for a few weeks. After the drying process, I can set them into the kiln ready for their bisque fire. A bisque fire turns the tiles from a clay material to ceramic. The glaze is a simple white glaze made from our own recipe. Just a quick blast of air to remove all the bits of dust. Spraying the glaze helps keep an even layer. We are currently developing a beautiful palette of complementary glaze colours that we hope to introduce in the near future. The tiles then get packaged up to be posted out to our customers or displayed in the Floors of Stone showroom.